social banking from GT Bank. Anywhere, anytime, any device. Welcome to a brand new episode of The Juice. On today's show, we've got the surest boy in Africa, May D, on the juice couch. But first, we put the spotlight on a super talented young rapper who used to be known as Young, but is now referred to as King Zamir. We knew him as Young from LOS. He has now transformed into King Zamir. Welcome. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm chilling right now. We've got to ask about the name. King uh, Zamir, where did that come from? It was always there, but I didn't just think of it as a stage name. I think along the line this year, January, I was just like, okay, if I'm coming out with my own personal stuff, I think I want to come out with a name that pretty much stands out mm. more than Young, because Young is pretty much kind of outdated now. So is this like your, um, what's it called? Would you, this is like your alter ego, or this is you? I wouldn't say this is my alter ego. I'd say this is new me, pretty much. That's the way okay. I'll put it out there. So Young who, was, who he, is King Zamir? King Zamir is an inspiring person. He just loves to make music. Yeah. When you have an interview as part of LOS, are you still going to be Young of LOS or are you going to no, be no, King Zamir of it's LOS? It's actually just, King Zamir is actually like nickname. It's actually Zamir LOS. LOS is like last name is like ASAP Rocky. And you have ASAP Ferg. Everybody's like Tommy, Thomas, LOS, Bruce, LOS, Bridge, LOS, Samir, LOS. So it's pretty much, it's LOS is like a family, not exactly a boy band, like what people thought. Um, so you guys are still very much together. Yeah. And um, one thing that I know that has, I'd say, made things a little bit tricky is because all of you guys are still like in school. Yeah. yeah. When do you finish school? Um, my school is actually a two-year course, so okay, what are you just studying? like um, doing audio production and music business. So in 2017, when you finished, you know, your course and everything, do you think you'd still you'll still be part of LOS, or yeah. is it going to be you definitely know, like we have we have like future plans mm. for LOS as a label as a music family, pretty much because this year we're actually going to be bringing more people under the LOS umbrella. Okay, in the group, who is the most annoying? Bruce. Briss is the most So you didn't guy. even think, let me <laughs> just sugarcoat that a little guy. bit. Nah, Briss is the most annoying guy, trust me. Why is he so annoying? Because, damn man, you just need to chill with that guy. Briss is diva. And <laughs> Briss is diva in the group, there you go. Who are you closest to? Uh, right now, right now. Damn, I'll say it's Tommy. Yeah, Tommy, I'm like, me and Tommy just have this bond right now because we've been together in Niger and we've been mm -hmm. learning at the same time and going together. So right now it's Tommy, yeah. Okay. Did you meet him first? No, I met Bridge first. I met Bridge when I was like in kindergarten. Wow. What is that? Five years ago? No, that's like 17 years ago. <laughs> I'm just missing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, last year, last year we heard some very scary news yeah. uh, that you were involved in a car accident. Yeah. What exactly happened? Okay, no, was, 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 was some people looking for you and then there was like a car chase and you got into something or? It was just a case of, you know, you've heard of stories where you enter like because nobody wanted to drive that day, yeah. so we took like a car hire. Then you know you've heard of cases where they you take like the wrong car, and the guy tries to kidnap you, type of thing. Then you wow. have to like yeah, that type of stuff. So, so what happened? To, like, what happened we after? had to drag with the guy, come off the bridge. Then after that, we had to explain to the police what happened, and it was just what happened to the driver. The driver was the driver like. He, at the end of the day, they had to let him go because he was claiming that um, he was scared of us or something, something stupid like that. That kind of thing, if you want to go to court, it's a lot it's longer long, and yeah, everybody long has school. So we just like let it die down. That's why wow. we just lay low for a bit. It just changes you your life. Your you just, at that point, you just realize that nothing else in this life is real or important to you apart from your life. Cause, and you realize that you're not in control of your life because you don't choose when you're going to die. How else has that changed you, do you, that experience? It just makes you appreciate every day that you live. I just say it made my life a lot better and just made me mature a lot more. So what are you working on now? As right now, King Zamir, the Zemir, solo okay. artist and as LOS? Um, for me personally, I'm just recording. Uh, I have a couple of collabs. I have a song with M.I. coming out soon. Ooh, what's that called? 
It's called the Dante. The Dante. Yeah, okay. it's about it's about a lot of different stuff. It's, we just we decide to go on a different wave because everybody is like seeming to to one direction and we just wanted to focus on the more important things in Nigeria like politics and stuff. Okay. So yeah, I'm hoping to bring that out with the video. Very soon. Yeah. That is as King Zemir. What but about? that's before that's like after the LOS stuff because right now okay. I'm working on the EP. Okay, what's that called? Yeah. Is it Jones Connect, LOS EP? Jones Connect. Yeah. That was you were supposed to drop that ages yeah, ago. We went to, but the accident kinda like of course, slowed of course, things yeah. down so all right. Yeah, right now we're back in the studio and trying to bash that out for the summer. Okay. Um, you have got a single called uh, Normal, Normal Dubs. Dubs. Yeah. What does that mean? But it just came about with me and a couple of my homeboys. We were just chilling in the house. Then we used to we used to just do a couple of stuff every mm -hmm. day. Then I just came up with the word Normal Dubs. Then they were like, oh, yeah, that sounds cool and stuff like that. So that's how the song came about. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you for having me. And thank me. you for giving us lots of juicy <laughs> gossip. Make sure you stick around. King Zamir will be performing later in the show. Hi, I'm Tools. If you enjoyed watching that, make sure you subscribe to the Indani TV channel. And you can also watch more videos here.